driving over to Brighton Mazda right now. Um, I just finished cleaning out the car and uh, I really hope that they can fix my dashboard in hopes that it works and functions as it once did. Then that means the trip computer doesn't keep functioning up, the lights don't keep flickering and everything like that. I mean, given this car is only a couple of years old, it wouldn't be the least bit problematic if they fixed it. That being said, I'm driving up there right now and I hope they do a good job because they don't know how much this car means to me. But yeah, there's uh, not really much to be said at the moment. I did get a disposable camera and I asked, I'm gonna ask them if they can take pictures throughout the process and not to forget to always use the flash because I have a really good document on this car since the day it had been purchased and that was brand new. So I think that, uh, I hope that they know that, well, I hope that they document it well. Well, I hope the drive there isn't too bad. They are giving me a loaner car, so I can't wait to see what that is. Hopefully it's a new car, because I know that some places that give loaner cars give these crappy, crappy cars. And I don't want a crappy car. I think that's absolutely garbage. Um, I'll come back in a second when I have more to say. I'm, I'm kind of drawing a blank. Highway merging speed! Oh shit. Goodness gracious. Sweet. Speed. And power. I apologize in advance about my graduation thing. Hopefully they can fix my dashboard. I'll attach a video of something, but my dashboard actually is recalled. Um, if you have a 2011 model and before, those are no longer recalled. But I'm, they're gonna replace the dashboard, my e-brake cover, and a couple of other things. And uh, I'm pretty satisfied. I mean, hopefully they do a good job and they know what they're doing, because I know that maybe in my head, because I do automotive too, they work on the same cars, so I hope they know what they're doing. If I did this, I would have to find a procedure or find something on it. Um, driving out to go pick up the loaner car, and it probably won't be returned till about three days from the day that it picked up. But. I mean, I love this car. I had my first, no, uh, I had a lot of firsts in this. I remember taking this to the drag strip and uh, racing it for an economy car. So, I mean, the economy car is running good. No, oh, 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 looks like I got a merge. Oh, okay, yeah, I got to do that. Emerging. There we go. Yeah, so I'll videotape from Brighton Mazda. I just, I've never been without my car and I'm kind of afraid to see what is to happen because I'm one of those people who gets very, very sketchy about. Very sketchy when, uh, yeah, there's this weird lane right here. There should be a sign that pops up or a, like a little thing. There's the, the thingy. Or this part here. It just merges into two for some reason. Okay, never mind that. Yeah, I love my car more than anything. And it's been with me for a while. And I couldn't think of getting anything else. But. I will videotape from Brighton Mazda and hopefully we'll get there.
that's the dashboard piece right there. You see where it's bending up? It's at right there. But it's the longest I've been away from my car, so here is it. Until I uh, until it returns or I return. So this is the front of the car. You can really tell if I go down a little bit with the camera that it definitely has a presence when you show up. I don't have a stabilizer right now, so I'm unable to stabilize the camera. But you can tell when you show up, you are here. The Mazda engineers did a really good job with designing this car. I mean, it is absolutely sleek. With the 19 inch rims on the front, giving it that nice smooth ride, it completely waves out as many bumps as anything. It's got enough room for me, and I'm 5'11", to go inside the rear and sit down. The back, it's nothing shy. I wish they would have spent a little more time on the back, but with all things in the world, even the back looks good. It looks like you're here and you own the shop. The trunk is a full-size trunk. We enter the inside, you gotta unlock it. We enter the back seat. Lots of space. You have your own climate control vents in the front with a full leather interior. Shall we? It's got this nice button to both lock and unlock the door. 
Mazda 6, the door panel, full power seats. Gauge cluster. Let me actually turn the steering wheel. There we go. Nice infotainment. Nice infotainment center. Climate control is nicely laid out. Coming down, you got a. I hear you can get these in a manual configuration, and that's more what I would like. Automatic parking brake, and. This is how you control your whole computer. This is your volume up, volume down, radio on, radio off. Of the startup, push the brake. Nice and quiet. Full leather wrapped steering wheel. Four way power windows. Pull the window down. Turn the lights on, which they're already on, and open the hood. I find it kind of ridiculous you have to control everything from right here. I do love the car. The way it rides, it's very quiet on the inside, as you can tell. I filled this car once. Once, and I have already driven almost 400 miles. This car is really, really good on gas. And I totally love that it is. Most cars today are made to be economy cars. This car has got good acceleration. It feels really sporty for what it is. So, why don't I like it? Um, the presence it makes, there's not many of them out. And I do like that. But I don't like the fact that everything's digitalized and that's just my own bias towards new cars. But I don't like the idea that I really feel like an executive who only drives his car from work and home. The interior is really well styled. It's just not my type of style. I drive with a white car and a white interior. So that's a big change for me. But it's worth it. Speak of the song, the song's actually on called Worth It. Ha ha ha. But the car does offer a temperature gauge, a range gauge, cruise control, it's got an outside temperature gauge, and it's got all these features that I wish my Mazda already had, but this car has them and I do like them. Um, acceleration is really nice. It's very smooth, smooth shifting. I think this has the dual clutch transmission in it. So that's a that's a huge plus. And some other things that I like, there's a school bus here. Well, the other things I like are the fact I can't, I don't take my key out of my pocket. Um, a thing I don't like is I can't see out of the back window. The back window is like a slit. And uh, let, me, let me turn the camera just a bit. That's directly straight back. Yeah, it's, it's really hard to see. I'm pretty much having to lift my head up to see it, what's behind me. And that's really good. I mean, I like it for that, but I don't think other people would. But who's that to say? It's quiet, it's smooth, it's a Mazda. It's made for speed and fun. I wonder why Mazda went from being fun and cool to being refined and boring. I mean, it's a whole different thing. With the base price of starting 
base price of this car starting at $21,000, it's really in that affordable luxury class. And I wouldn't say that anything else about it, but I do love the car. I just, I wish they would hold its value a little longer. But what car, unless it's a Mer well, even Mercedes lose their value. What car doesn't lose their value nowadays? I think the idea behind this car is it wasn't made for an executive to some extent because you're still driving something that's fun and lives by the Mazda name. And it's really hard to believe that in this car, but if you hear that, it's really nice to drive something that's fun and stylish and new. And it's such a great feeling that you get from this car. I can't say I got the same feeling when I was driving the Mercedes S-Class. That one made me just feel like I'm a single guy who has a lot of money. But it's, it's amazing, I love it. I also hate it at the same time because of its executiveness. So, oh, there's a red one right there. Um, zero to 60 is really good. Um, yeah. I have a soft side for Mazdas. I will always have one. and it's October. He's back. There's the Lancer right there. Let's see if I can, there we go. Cover up a little bit of the sun, we can see the car. Being we're done. Um, so, here's the damage. Can you follow it? Sorry about the light. Following it down, you see how it's popping up. It's my interior, my dash. And maybe stink bug. These things are terrible. I hate them. I have to clean out the car. Everything in the glove box has to come out everything. Uh, so it's gonna be a little bit of time to clean up. Cleanest my glove box, my uh, center console's ever been. That's, that's everything that was in it. Now to get to the end here.